Open AI. What does this mean for marketing? Shoot, have you have you looked at Twitter? I mean, it's it's all over social media right yeah, now. Yeah, I think since Wednesday, there's been uh, over one million downloads of it. Oh it's a God. game changer. Why so not? let's explain what exactly this new technology is. So OpenAI, you know, is an organization <clears throat> con consumed of uh, comprised of a lot of different really smart people. I think Elon might be involved in it. This guy Sam Altman, and essentially what they've done is they've built a framework to allow artificial intelligence to start to be used in practical kind of manners, right? Mm. So, and it just so happens marketing happens to be one of the things that it's highlighting <clears throat> big time right out of the gate. So you, if you think about it from a marketer standpoint, SEO, right? We've tested this thing, writing SEO pages. It's amazing. One of the things that happens with, with entrepreneurs and business people is sometimes, you know, you get, they call it writer's cramp or, yeah. you know, it's hard to get started with things. And what this allows you to do as a marketer is you can just go type in some basic prompts, right? Some, some basic, basic keywords, keywords yeah. inputs, what you wanted to do in plain English. And then it, it picks this up and it's able to, let's talk about SEO, write SEO pages, blog posts, uh, social media headlines, uh, email uh, newsletters. Yeah, um, it can even be used to plan your content. Plan your content. It can write scripts for videos. Like, that's insane. Yeah. What you thought was super authentic, like what you say in a video, it can give you a script. You put in a couple keywords and what you want the tone of the video to be, and it does it for you. Just think, yeah, think about this as a, as a small business. Yeah. And you have these ideas, but you just don't have time or, or you're not a copywriter to flush all this stuff out and to really uh, round out the content to where it's going to be valuable. If you can just put your thoughts down in a few statements, this thing will write it for you. So, yeah, it's like. It's pretty much like it's shortcutting tasks that usually would take hours to generate, like writing a blog. Yeah. For, if this is your first YouTube video you're creating, that normally takes hours to be like, okay, how am I going to do this? Especially if you're doing it alone. So it's it's really short. It, it's a good jumping off point. It's a great point. You know? When you have a thought, go put, plug it in, and now you have content, basically. So, yeah, it's going to even the playing field big time. And the craziest thing is that this is only the beginning. Yeah. Looking at the tools it has to offer right now, and we just named off a few guys. I'm sure there's a whole lot more that you can use. But this is only the beginning. So as far as where exactly this is going to take the marketing industry, it's kind of unknown. Yeah. So. But there's, listen, if you go to G, GPT chat or chat GPT, go search it on Twitter. It's a free download right now. It's in, I guess it's in early availability. You can use it. You can start playing around with this and go start testing it out. Like we wrote an offer letter. I put a couple of blurbs in and it wrote the offer letter to some new developers that we're hiring. We have a master services agreement with a client that we're working through right now. I put the details in and it wrote the master services agreement for me. So, you know, this is, yeah, it's, it's amazing. So yeah, if you, you want to jump on this and, and get familiar with it, because there is a little bit of an art and science to doing this right. and getting the proper output. Yes. Um, but yeah, this, this chat GPT tool, you can go find it online. It's available and you can test it out. Um, but it, the game is changing. And we'd love to know your thoughts. And if you yeah. have tried this out, what you've seen and what you've learned, because we've tried it a couple of times and what we've learned, you have to be very particular about the input. Yes. That's the only way. Cause it, again, it's an, it's an, artificial intelligence thing it's not 100 percent accurate or correct you really do have to read through it but yeah comment your thoughts we'd love to chat with you about this yeah it's somebody referred to it is it's the best bullshit artist that you'll you'll ever meet you know so it you can give it enough information where it can sit at a table and have a conversation and you think the guys know it all yeah, but Shannon, you even mentioned, too, about how it can bring emotion into it yes. like with the Christmas letter and yes. all that. Yes. So, guys, I'll pull up a screenshot, um, and I'll, I'll put the, the lady's name. I don't have it right now. So she input, like, write a letter from Santa to my six-year-old son explaining that Santa's not real. And it captured the heartfelt emotion, and it was able to capture how you would speak to a six-year-old because the tone is a lot different than how you would speak to an adult. And it's insane, y'all. Like, it's, that was the main difference between AI and a human is the emotional aspect. But now it can capture that. So it's like, gosh, doll, y'all, people are for sure voicing their concerns about this. They're saying, is this going to be taking people's jobs? Well, it very well could if it advances even more because – like we said, this is just the beginning. Just the beginning. So. Yeah. And so I think it's important that, you know, because even how fast it's developing, because we looked at this, you know, just even six months ago, and it changed. was a totally different. Yep. 
Uh, I mean, you could pick your voice and all that kind of stuff. And we thought, well, this is really great if you want to rewrite something you already have. But right now, it's it's developing really good creative concepts on its own. Like, it's amazing mm. how little the inputs can be and what actually it puts out. So, you know, if you have looked at it before, it, go back and look at it again because it's going to be something you probably need to follow just because it's going to be a game changer for anything with marketing that, and whatever yeah. you're doing. That's what I'm saying because I, I understand people being kind of like weirded out by it because they don't want their jobs to be taken by technology. But regardless of the fact, this is something that I feel like especially people in this industry should be well aware of what this can do for you. And if you're a small business owner, how you can take advantage of these tools. There's no doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, it puts, it evens the playing field out if you don't have you know, copywriters and a CMO on staff. This is uh And it really just saves you time. Saves you saves you time. And it's pretty fun, man, to be involved in this. So so yeah. to be at the beginning of this. And they said GTP three, which I think GTP chat or chat GPT is like version three point five. They said version four. GP GT GPT three was very powerful. They said the f- number four is gonna be five hundred times more powerful. So if you can think it, this it, it's gonna be able to do it. Yeah, it'll streamline a lot of small businesses. Yeah, a little bit of a teaser too. We're uh, we're talking about how we're going to implement this into our marketing box platform. Yeah, so it's going to be it's going to be pretty badass. Yeah, yeah. Y'all comment where you think this AI is going to take the marketing industry. 